so we are up in uh, a mountain. Uh, we had to take a trail up uh, off the river. Uh, there's a bridge down here that's been destroyed, but they're working on fixing the uh, access to it. And we were told this, there's a lady in her 60s who uh, lost everything and she needs to be evacuated. But in order to do that, she has to fill up a FEMA application. And she was unable to do that because there is no power, there's no inner access. And so they asked us if we can drive up with the Starlink so that she can make one phone call and provide her information. And so that's what we're doing right now. She's talking to a FEMA representative who is getting her personal information to be able to uh, place her and, and give the assistance that she needs. So we drove through the water on the four-wheeler. He ran back and pulled my car around thinking, well, if it's the river, there'd still be enough. But it was started coming from both sides, both mm. the creek and the and the uh, river water. So it just kept coming and kept coming. I've never seen anything so fast in my life. Then we started to see tractor trailer, you know, the trailer parts. Okay. And then we saw the dumpsters go, and then we saw the roof of the store go, and several houses just floating down. We also learned today that in North Carolina, 92 people are still missing nearly three weeks after Hurricane Helene. This is in addition to the 125 people killed by Helene in the state, making up more than half of the storm's confirmed deaths. We're on our way to Bloody Fort. It's an area that is completely cut off right now. It's only accessible by horse or by side-by-side uh, -side or, or hiking. And we are checking on the community. We have some leads of people that may need a Starlink for communications. Thank you. Any questions? Um, yeah, it was a pretty good tutorial. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. How far do you have to go to get signal? To get signal, I would say a 30 minute drive. 30 minute drive just to get phone signal. Yeah, other, wow. other than the like little tents that are set up with Starlinks. So. Okay, now that there's Starlinks, yeah, yeah, yeah then it's then been it a little easier, but before that, it, at least. Yeah, I didn't even drive. really try. We just didn't need. <laughs> Yeah. And what do you expect will happen now that you have a start Okay. Um, well, I'll be able to get back to work a lot sooner, that's for sure, and, and keep in touch and with my guys. You know, half of them are displaced, and the other half are working on their own homes, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be way easier to organize with them. You know? Great. And yeah. you understand that SpaceX is giving you free of charge, it's paid for, and yeah. the service is free at least until the end of the year. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so we're here at Faith and Family Health. They are a small medical clinic here. Uh, a lot of the locals were telling us, hey, we haven't been able to get a hold of them. Uh, we know that they have a lot of appointments set up. They're helping out people medically. So we dropped by here, and sure enough, when we got here, none of their internet was working. During Hurricane Helene, um, we lost power, we lost water. Um, we just currently got power and water back, and so we have been using this Starlink because our internet was running completely super slow and we were having a lot of um, communication issues between us and our patients and now that we have the Starlink we can run more proficiently, um, get a hold of patients, get a hold of other doctor's offices, um, other places that um, we need to reach out to um, for referrals and stuff like that. Um, but it's been 100% better since then. So, Guys, we just got more Starlink and a Chinook load of supplies out to Frank Fire Department. We're working on getting more. We're trying to touch every fire department all across the region. Thank you, Elon Musk and SpaceX, Ivanka, for getting these 300 Starlinks out to us and making a world of difference for people. It's been great since you guys brought the Starlink. Uh, last night I had like 11 people on it at one time, so all the neighbors are so grateful and happy. And says thanks to y'all. Um, I just happen to be put in the position. I'm, you know, I'm going to the churches and the fire departments. What do you need? They tell me I leave. You know, because they've got they're overloaded. Really, they are overloaded. I mean, and so I just find out what they need, and these people just keep calling me. So when they call me, I give them this list, 
We got a guy out of Nashville that's got six U-Hauls of whatever we need coming. So just because mainly you guys got to start like they was able to get a hold of us.